Now let me discuss an important matter with you. It is a certain perception that we talk about in my new books. <clears throat> it is called a few different names. We talk about the objective observer perspective. Um, we speak of a metaphor, the multitasking, um, using the computer metaphor, uh, the multitasking consciousness. We speak of the use of consciousness units uh, <clears throat> in an artistic way. Mm -hmm. You are the artist. Uh, you are a reality creator. You create what we call reality constructs. The first one being your physical body. You then um, go on to create everything else in your reality, your personal reality field. Mm, this we know, and if you're a, a reader of my books or you've seen these videos of mine, mm, you know that. It's a given that you create your reality. Uh, what we're talking about here today is a perspective that you may use uh, that I think can help you in this multitasking perspective. Uh, in that you will find yourself simultaneously within and without. Simultaneously connecting uh, to what I call the unknown reality, uh, the etheric, the astral plane, the other dimensions, uh, while also maintaining embodiment within your physical construct. So multitasking, you say. Mm. It helps you to explore your multi-dimensional consciousness. You're in the third dimension. You are not trapped there, however. You are not stuck on the earth. Uh, you have a consciousness that can be directed outward, uh, up through, uh, using the metaphor of up and down, up through the various dimensional levels, out into the the grid, as they say, even as you may be having uh, your morning coffee and thinking about the day ahead. So multitasking. Now, the artist of consciousness, another metaphor we enjoy, uh, particularly because it's true. That's what you do. That's who you are as a soul within a physical body. Uh, you are empowered to create your personal reality field any way you wish. So you are an artist. Now, it is all not love and light, however, uh, for you have free will. And as an artist, you, <laughs> you have this ability to choose what to create. Hmm. My suggestion is with this new perspective of multitasking, being at once 
within the third dimension of physical reality and in the etheric body, perhaps looking down, if you enjoy that metaphor, uh, from the home dimension, from the fourth dimension, observing yourself. Uh, as you do observe yourself, notice that you are not trapped on the physical uh, planet Earth. You are not trapped within this body of yours. Your consciousness allows you to go anywhere you desire. Mm. You are a creator, then, uh, of your world, your little piece of paradise, your personal reality field. Mm. And you use a, a substance, an etheric substance, if you will, that I've termed consciousness units over the years. Consciousness units are holographic and telepathic. Uh, I'm giving you a little mental message with that to prod you into thinking that. Uh, what does that mean? telepathic and holographic. Each element, each consciousness unit is telepathic and holographic. And you direct them with your um, creative intent, uh, either subconsciously uh, or consciously, intentionally, mm, through a portal between your eyes mm, to create the various reality constructs that you see in your uh, your world, your life. So you are the creator here. Um, now what happens often is that uh, the artist, you are the artist of consciousness. Uh, you become the mad artist, let's say, mm. the crazy artist, mm. disavowing responsibility for your creations. So even though, uh, using this metaphor, the artist does a painting and then states that, well, I did not do that, uh, even though their signature is down at the bottom, you see, uh, many of you do not take responsibility for your creations, particularly the negative creations. Those creative acts that bring uh, distress <laughs> on you and others, let's say. Mm. Now with this divine perspective, we are speaking about connecting with the etheric body, with the body that <clears throat> you use to travel, uh, the astral body as some people call it. Mm. You have vast creative choice. Uh, and it is my suggestion that you use this metaphor uh, to be more loving and creative in your um, experiments as an artist, uh, to be more conscious of what you're producing, what you're creating, uh, and to own and take responsibility for those, those creations. <clears throat> 